There was a church wedding in Achimote School, uh, Agri Chapel. And as soon as a gentleman left the church, he virtually put on his cigarette. And an old one said, ah, Verma, cigarette a shame. <laughs> But for me, what is even worrying is that leadership succumbs to business interest against national interest. Like you said, the imports are the imports of processed food. The people who are there doing that are only focused on making money, not I mean thinking about our health. So I think that the leadership here should be able to be bold enough to say that this is not good for my people and ban it. can admit oil into this country with a label vegetable oil. What vegetable? And I have come again to find out that the food industry has sold all of us, the entire humanity, down the river. And it is only for their bottom line. And so long as it serves their bottom line, they are happy. Profit at the expense of human life. And that I cannot countenance. So that is why I felt one needed to speak out and speak boldly and loudly so that people can understand. This child was more. Eventually when I gave the insecticide net to the mother, the mother told me, I'm going to sell it and go and buy Guinness. If this is your mother, hey, we have problems in this country. Our whole basis of our nutrition is wrong. Basically, a lot of people eat white polished rice. Now, noodles have become the in thing. And all this is just straight polished carbohydrate. As a country that produces tropical oils, we've allowed non-tropical people to convince us that our oils are bad and what they have produced in their country is good. So we should eat that. And we've killed our industry. So the earlier we bring back those industries, palm kernel oil, coconut oil, palm oil, shea butter, the better. Even cocoa oil. Cocoa oil has the same properties as olive oil. It eats, let's reduce our sugar, let's reduce our salt. Let's eat to live, not live to eat. Our volumes are too much. But like I said, if you do not exercise, you are not in good health. If you exercise, you are on the road to good health. And if you can spend 30 minutes to 60 minutes walking every day, yes, you sweat, you sweat, but you cool down and when you lie down, you sleep. And that is when all the repair mechanisms are keyed in. Good repair, you get up in the morning and you are as sprite as a baby boy. <laughs>